Welcome back, my loyal subjects, to more Trails of Cold Steel 2. Feral Fiasco here. Le I wonder where this is. The end of the first stratum, most likely. Yeah, pr that pretty much sums it up. We've hit the end of the first stratum. I really expected for them to throw a, a battle at us, but no. Alright. So what we're actually going to do is... Because at some point we've got to fight Zeno and Leo. So we're actually going to put Fee into the party. Uh, yeah. I guess we'll drop Elliot. And, um... I guess we'll do a million too. Might as well. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda terrified right now. But a lot of people are out there fighting so that we can be here. There's no way we can turn back. Let's keep go uh, let's keep on going. Alright. These are ominous winds inside this castle. We'll have to be careful. But there's no way for us to go but up. It's the only way we can protect the homes we hold dear. Alright. Yep, and there's only really one place we can warp to, so... Next thing's next. Uh, we're probably not actually going to use Fee at all. Yep. We just have to be prepped. Once we fight Xeno and Leo, she is 100% out of the party. But for right now... Uh, we are really broke. Mm. Yeah, we're good for right now. We just rest up and then we can keep pushing forward. I really expected there to be somebody waiting for us here to try to stop us from progressing, but I guess not. Okay, here it is. A fight of some sort. What is this place? Feels kind of different from the rest of the castle. I think that's some sort of magical elevator. I bet we can use that to go up to the next stratum. Not if I have anything to say about it. All right. So first up is Duvali. And blue block? Yep, Duvaly and blue block. Well, well, look who finally showed up. <laughs> Some people never learn. Oh, hey, it's the creepy mask dude. <sighs> My apologies for dropping in like this. Truly, our reunion could not come about on a more spectacular stage. If you mean in spectacularly bad taste, then sure. Yeah. It's definitely got quite the charm to it. It is said that she too once challenged this legendary castle. There would be no greater honor for me than to be able to demonstrate my strength here. She? I assume she's referring to the Steel Maiden, Ouroboros' seventh anguish. Although, there are some who speculate her to be St. Leanne Sandlot herself. Come to think of it. Weren't we saved by someone similar to St. Sandlot in Lohengrin Castle? I thought they were the same person. How can someone who was alive 250 years ago be alive now? Oh, I guess that little factoid never really entered into my theory. Huh. What nonsense. Possibility did cross my mind, but... Okay, so Reem was in the same boat I was then. Still, with a name like the Stallrider... It's abundantly clear that inspiration was drawn from the Lance Maiden and her Eisenritter, if nothing else. <laughs> Indeed. She saw my potential and guided me in all her wisdom. Graciously ushered me to new heights few could ever hope to reach. Someone from a mere branch like the Arsaid School could never hope to compare. She is super smug all of a sudden. <sighs> Well, not all of a sudden, but geez, even more so than usual. Interesting. The chance to face an opponent related to my life's goal is a gift I am rarely presented. Duvali, it would be an honor to test my skill against yours. Neither to prove the Arsade School is more than a branch, nor to defend its name. 
but simply so that together we may both aspire to greater heights. A swordswoman for nothing other than the pursuit of skill. Hey. <laughs> right? <laughs> Laura, you're so awesome. That's our Laura. I think you've chosen the wrong girl to pick a fight with this time. Right? She's gonna fight you, yeah, but not for any uh, for not for like the reasons you're wanting. <laughs> I feel kind of sorry for her. You shouldn't. I may interject. A spectacular stage is nothing without a spectacular cast. What say you, Class 7, to settling things between us in one last performance? Of course he's got to summon stuff. Whoa! Oh, it's a terrible shame I can't do the same with my worthy rival here and now. Yeah, there's no Oliver for you right now, but still. But there are certainly worse ways to pass the time than crushing the dreams of those with whom he placed his faith. Well, enough prattle. Shall we begin? You, with the power of an ogre, and you, the famous purple lightning. Show to me the beautiful emptiness that lies at the very depths of despair. This guy. If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you'll get. Don't hold back, because I certainly won't. On my name is the foremost knight of the Stone Ridder, Dooley the Swift. You shall be defeated. We'll, Ready your sword. We'll see it. Seven. Let's get this done and keep moving. <laughs> we'll see about that. All right. All right. No. Dance beautifully. So first things It's the end of the line for you. First things first, we want to make sure that um we can't be one shot by Uh actually Yeah. Well, let's maelstrom. And then she can queue up a Yeah, lost Eden. Ice brand. Uh-oh. That wasn't supposed to happen. Well. I'm sorry, everyone. Onward. Okay, so that went really friggin' badly. Um. Let's see. Crap, dude. Thanks. The I like being frozen really feels like a one-off sort of thing. What? Yeah. Lightning brand. All right. Oh, sorry, everyone. Well, this particular fight went really friggin' badly. Marionette beam. Did that inflict trying. something? All right. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna retry that. Now, dance beautifully. We just need to like not get frozen. Akashic rain. Defense down. Well, that's not good. Okay, so Usus didn't die immediately, so that's all good. Okay, first things first, the holy breath from him. Uh, I'm not done yet. Reen is gonna chrono drive. Uh, it's my turn. She Oh, our links are were undone. Oh wow. Uh hmm. We're not gonna get our adamantine shield up in time. We do want to cure Laura's stat down. We actually want to cure everybody's stat down, but can't do that just yet. Quick Chrono Drive. And Laura. 
Oh, we didn't even look at the, um... At the things that they've got on their side. Okay. That. All she can really do is... Um, La Forte. Yeah. Or actually, let's have her heal Reen, because Reen's about to take some... Uh, some damage. Shadow Brand. All right, so can't really keep messing around with that. <sighs> like we pretty much we want to get in there before they like just keep taking these turns and killing the crap out of us. Yeah. Can we get some big numbers for this? Not really. Let me help. And the auto curia is definitely not going to keep Reen alive through what's about to happen. Maintenance beam. They can heal themselves. Ugh. That's not cool. All right. Uses platinum shield us, dude. Holy shield! Protect us. There we go. Um. Oh, that hits through it. You. Interesting. I'm sorry, everyone. Unforgivable. Okay. Uh. Leave this to me. Laura is gonna have to tear a bomb her. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, and then go for the radiant lion. Witness the fruits of my dream. Ooh. Definitely not ideal. But it's better than letting her get that HP heal. Nice! Truly uh. spectacular! Yeah. Illusory brand. Ha ha! Another maintenance beam, but that's okay. We're gonna revive Reen. Item. Celestial bomb. Now. Thanks. Whew, okay. I'll handle this. Let's see. He's actually kind of low on HP. Hmm. All right. So they cannot. But they can, however. Onward. Onward. All right, so we've got a little bit of a strategy in mind here. First things first. Soul eruption. Um, she will actually yeah, we're probably going to have her either... I think going for the Seraphic Ring is probably the smarter move. Yeah. Yusus can do something else with his turn. Or actually, Yusus uh, will be able to Platinum Shield us again, because no doubt we're about to come under fire from the S-Craft. Yeah. Here. I suppose I should thank you. Yeah. It's my turn. All right. Arts. Uh, seraphic ring. Now. Just because rain was way too low. You I suppose thing. I should thank you. Very well. He can't do it again, but he can maelstrom. Or. Yeah. Huh. Oh. And in the interest of trying to... Oh, wait. Oh, uh, uh, right, rather. We were supposed to... Okay. Yeah, we definitely don't want... Oh, crap. That was a misplay. A complete misplay on my part. 
Now we, we really have to go for it because if we don't get them both this go round, we're probably going to eat two S crabs in a row and it's going to be over for us. Yeah, only Emma would even survive it. No, she would survive the first one. And then get absolutely demolished by the second. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get them both. Rap. Yeah, this could have gone better. Oh, Laura. Laura's going to survive one of them as well. It'd actually be nice. Maybe if we take one hit, Laura and if Rian survives one of them, nah. The odds are too low for that. We could get like a Fury or something. Just barely not enough. Yep. On her specifically? Hmm. Now, I think. <laughs> this is like a 3D version of the one he had before. I don't. Yeah, I think we're good. Whatever Death Magic did. Okay. I suppose I should thank you. Even though she's about to get an immediately get another turn. All right. Could have been way worse. Let's see. Um. Sixty thousand. All right. Yeah, we're gonna bring her in. All right, let's get this started. Establish. Oh, the league already established for us. Next up, we should be able to heal. Yep, thirty CP with a Kaiser Burger. All right, so that's gonna be it for him. I'm actually surprised we managed to survive both of those. Whatever death death magic's power must just be to reduce whoever gets hit to one HP. So, all right, can't really complain about that. And then if Reen is in a sticky position after this. No, you nope. Don't. Aha! Shadowbrand looks a lot like Gale. Um. Thirty-nine thousand. We're probably not going to be able to do that much with one S craft. So instead. Maybe Celestial Balm Laura, see if we get lucky that way. You have my things. Take this. Nope. I wasn't strong enough. Let's move. Alright. Uh Reen will Tiro Balm himself. No. Or he could have nope. That was a bit of a waste. Illusory brand. Try and see this. We're gonna need her not to die here. Okay, the confusion. Let's move. What do we have that cures confuse cures ailments and stat down? Uh yeah, we will be nostalgic stewing her. Huh. Ooh, free food. Mm. Okay. She doesn't have the he doesn't have the CP to, to revive anyone yet. And those HP totals are looking kind of scary. Alright, another Tiro Bomb. We pretty much, if we can hold out for Reen to hit 100 CP. 
crap, dude. My turn. I don't even have to wait anymore. Uh, one tomato burger for him. Yeah. That's pretty good. Okay. okay. So first, a termination slash dawn. And then after this, we are probably going... Alright, I know what we're going to do after this. Yeah. Be the perfect way to play it. That's going to destroy our turn orders, but... Uh... Or nah. I'm not even going to risk it. Yeah. 20,000. Uh... How's about... Okay. So first thing she's gonna do is use her S craft. Ooh. Come on, Reen. Or come on, us, uh, uh, Sarah. Definitely not gonna be the twenty thousand, but if we can get close to it, we can probably get in there. I wonder what happens. If we switch... Nope, that's it. We win. Okay, that was definitely... <laughs> You've certainly improved. Well, I had this one teacher. Hmm. All right. So it. that, we managed to get it first try. Success. Luckily, very luckily. Megaton press 2. <laughs> Jeez, maybe a couple more levels would have made that easier for us. We were victorious. Yay, we won! Ugh, that was some fight. You're telling me, dude. They just didn't want to go down. The strength of Ouroboros' prime members is not to be underestimated. <sighs> we knocked off his mask. Well, you have aptly demonstrated that you can overcome despair. But alas... You may have been a little too unlucky with your opponent. Is Duvali about to go psycho or something? What are you... This can't be happening. I couldn't have been defeated. Uh-oh. The swordsmanship of the illustrious Steel Maiden could never be surpassed by this rabble. Impossible. Ridiculous. I won't... Well, okay, it's not making us do it again, though, so that's good. This is what she is capable of? So this is why they call her Doobly the Swift. She may not have a number among the enforcers, but it's most assuredly not for lack of skill. So long as her lord wills it. She'll fight till she's breathed her last. Oh, man. All right, so round two then. And with that, the first act was a most impressive performance. But now begins our second act of despair. <sighs> this isn't looking good. They've got the advantage now. There's no way we're getting past them. We need to find some way to turn this in our favor. <laughs> I'm afraid they have to bow out for now, but not to worry. The real stars of Act 2 have arrived. Thank you, Oliver with the cavalry! That sounds like... That's one of his crafts, isn't it? Could it be? Come on, pay attention now. All right. Oh my. Only Toval, but that's fine. Your Highness, Toval! <laughs> if I didn't know you, I'd almost think you were there the whole time. You had to have planned that. <laughs> well, we weren't standing around waiting for the right time to make our grand entrance. I'll give you that much. Speak for yourself. And if you must know, Class 7, the situation in Western Erebonia has finally turned in our favor. So, Prince Oliver was waiting there for the right time, but you know what? That's fine. And as soon as it did, we made for the capital as fast as we could. 
Even so, we only just arrived. Yeah, we made traversing the Infernal Castle's first stratum easier for you guys, though, but still. Thank goodness for that. We are grateful to have your support. <laughs> to think I would get the chance to face you here after all, Prince Oliver. The goddess has truly shined her light upon us. Or the devils have cast their shadows at the very least. Ugh! Who cares about a debaucherous prince in some bracer who's only as good as his arts? If you're going to try and talk big, at least bring Mueller Vander with you. I really expected Vander to be here. Oh, but we did bring him. There we go. Pardon? Contrary to the inside, things weren't looking so hot out in front of the castle. So we asked him to stay out there and hold the line. Oh, well then. His friend showed up to help too, so who wants to bet how long it'll take before they got everything under control? Vander's friend? Does he mean Zex? His friend? You couldn't mean... So is it both Vanders out there or something? Something tells me it's not Zex though. Jeez, dude. He's incredible. Cleaning clocks left and right. So he's the young lion of the Vanders. I would expect nothing finer from those charged with protecting the Imperial family. Major Mueller Vander. Ladies and gentlemen of Thors, I've come to your aid. We should be able to handle everything here until reinforcements are... Yeah. Oh, Nightheart! You're finished. Got him. Instructor Nightheart, you came to help us. Having him around will help even the odds a little. Nice to see you made it, Nightheart. <laughs> I heard they were keeping you busy over by the east exit. Didn't think you were going to show up so soon. Brigadier General Wallace called for a temporary ceasefire in light of the current situation. Once I received permission from the Lieutenant General, I came here as fast as I could. I'm more surprised that you were able to make it this far into the city. <laughs> I'm only here because that idiot got it in his brain to burst in with his usual fanfare. But I left the babysitting duties to Tobal, so not to worry. I can give this battle my full attention. Is that so? Right. Is that one of ours? No. In that case, what would you say to a friendly wager? Say, which of us can take down more of these knights? Jeez, they're making it too easy. You're on. We haven't had one of those since our days in the same battalion. Oh my! What a combination of chiseled physiques and battlefield camaraderie! Is Instructor Thomas going to show what he can really do too? Would you mind if I joined in the fun, too? Friend of yours, perhaps? Uh, let's just focus on fighting for now. <laughs> Guess he's not anyone's favorite instructor. Jeez. They are cleaning up out there, dude. Making life easier for us. So it's all good. You just leave things here to us. It looks like you've got quite the climb ahead of you. Rouse those fighting spirits of yours. And do what you can to save Cedric. <sighs> yes, your highness. We won't let you down. Kick some ass, Tovall. Well, oh, good luck. We're counting on you. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. No, I'm not gonna... <sighs> You're not going anywhere. Your highness. <laughs> Right there with you. All right. Arcus activate. That one. Uh, are they both casting arts at the same time? What fun! How often does one get to do battle with two distinguished arts users at once? So what is that? Linked arts, like chain crafts, or something like that? 
then it seems I will have to demonstrate my proficiency with my own magic as well. This is not the time to try and one-up each other! No! 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 <laughs> Well, I am really glad they didn't make us fight them a second time, dude. <laughs> Having flashbacks to when we had to fight Comrade C, The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel 2. Crap. Way too wild. <laughs> it kind of sucks that they couldn't become part of the party, but, you know, it's whatever. I wonder what happens if we warp down and then run back up to that particular stage. Okay. Infernal Castle, second stratum. Hmm. We still have quite a journey before we reach the top. Something certainly feels off here, though. This is the castle's second stratum. It's supposedly where the evil that emerged from Purgatory's Great Tree lurks. Is that right? There's every chance we could run into an ambush like that one again. We're going to have to stay vigilant. <laughs> True enough. Yeah. You got it, boss! Alright. Um, so from here, there's not really... We didn't run into Zeno or, Zeno or Leo or anything like that. And I kind of want to keep her in the party in case we have to go for Lecter or something. Nope. Oh, okay. Reen can still activate it? I guess that's fine. Do we have anything we need to upgrade? Not really. We also don't need to rest. But, uh, jeez. Okay, so that fight was kind of wild. It hasn't really been that long, but... We are definitely still going to uh, call it a part here and probably do the entirety of the second stratum next time. So definitely join me then for more Trails of Cold Steel 2. Bye for now, guys.